Today is a very exciting day, signing my sixth or seventh year with bodybuilding.com. So proud to be with a company for so long. Well, welcome to the video, guys. Today is a Saturday. We're here with Mr. Brady. He's chilling on the mat. And as you can see, this house is looking more and more like a baby lives in it. There's toys everywhere, passies, spit up rags, uh, you name it, we have it. Then we have Mr. Gainer in the house. Say hi, games. <laughs> So today, like I was saying, today's Saturday. We have nothing really planned today. I'm gonna to be taking you along with me. Uh, we have some chicken cooking right now, or just got done cooking. I like to have some protein cooked uh, sitting in the fridge so we can have easy access. So all we have to do is like heat up some vegetables or something uh, instead of like what we normally do is have uh, chicken that we cook when we need it. And I don't like doing that. Let me show you what I'm having for lunch, keeping it very low carb. We have six ounces of chicken breast with half an avocado and then some broccoli with just some salt on it. Uh, and very basic, uh, higher fat, low carb lunch. Looks delicious, so we're gonna eat this and then get on with the day. So I woke up this morning, did cardio. I did 15 minutes of LIS, which is low steady state cardio, and then did four rounds of bike sprints. I did 30 seconds on, two minutes rest. Uh, I've been meaning to do cardio in the morning this whole entire week, uh, but recently I haven't been doing that. I've just been doing cardio after my workouts, and the reason why is because of Mr. Brady. He's been on a new schedule. He's not been sleeping very well at all. Maybe about a week ago, he was sleeping until about 7.30 in the morning, which was incredible. But now he's been waking up around 5, 4 in the morning. You just don't know. And he wakes up just screaming, and we can't get him to stop uh, until maybe like, I don't know, 6 or 7 o'clock. He goes back to sleep sometimes. But he just wakes up like furious, and we can't settle that kid down. Even when we put him in the bed with us to kind of comfort him and stuff, he just gets furious. Snack time before the gym. I'm going to have a protein candy bar. Have a black coffee. Sorry, I am turned around here with this vlog camera. <laughs> so, I'm trying to grab the coffee without spilling it. So I'm gonna be working shoulders today at the gym. It shouldn't be that packed. Saturdays are normally a pretty good day to work out. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be my off day. I'm gonna take one off day this week and I like taking Sundays off. So I'm gonna drink this black coffee have the protein bar to have me a little bit of carbs because the only thing I've had today uh, was eggs this morning, two whole eggs, a cup of egg whites, peanut butter, and then that chicken with broccoli and avocado, so no carbs. So this will be my only carb source before going to the gym. Now I'm all ready for the gym. It is four o'clock, I'm not gonna lie. I went in there and started playing video games and didn't get off for a while. <laughs> me and my brother was playing uh, Rainbow Six. So now I'm about to head to the gym. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, is gonna be my off day, so I'm gonna go in there and train some shoulders. I got half a scoop of this pre-build by Muscle Tech. This is the best flavor, I'm telling you. It's so good, the gummy worm flavor. Uh, but I'm gonna have a, only a half a scoop because I just got done having uh, the black coffee and I don't want too much caffeine where I'm jittery and stuff. So I'm gonna drink that and then head there and we're gonna kill some shoulders. Doesn't look that packed, so I think it's gonna be a pretty good day to film, so looking forward to that. I got a comment on YouTube uh, the other day, and it made my day, actually. This is from Connor, and he said, the effort you put into your videos is amazing. I originally came here just to watch the workouts, but now just interested in the vlogs before and after. Keep up the videos, man. So that comment really means a lot to me because I try to put out content that is not boring and content that you guys want to see, and content that I would want to watch myself because back Back then when I first started vlogging, I put out content that I look back at and it was so boring that I would never watch that now. So when I put out vlogs, it's stuff that I would want to watch personally. And so that content I'm super proud of. So it really means a lot to me to get comments and people encouraging me to keep vlogging and saying they like my content. What's going on everyone? Hope you're enjoying the video so far. So this workout is extremely tough. If you're looking for a very high volume shoulder workout, this is it. So I started off with seated dumbbell uh, military press. I did a total of five sets. Now I did one set after warming up, I did around uh, three sets of warm ups uh, of shoulder presses. I think I started off with like maybe the 40 pounds, 60 pounds, 80s. And then my very first working weight was with the 90 pounds. And I did that for 12 reps and then stuck with the 100 pound dumbbells for eight reps, the four sets of eight reps. And then on the last set, the fifth set, 
I did a double drop set. I did not record that. Now, before I do any kind of uh, press movements for shoulders or anything, like I said, you need to warm up. Shoulders is one of those things that you can injure uh, very easy. So I do some external rotations. I do some stretching. Uh, just to make sure my shoulders are good and warmed up before I go into heavy uh, press movements because uh, over the years and stuff I've had uh, shoulder issues and I find that if you warm up a lot beforehand it kind of uh, prevents you from injuring those shoulders so uh, if you have shoulder injuries make sure or if you don't have shoulder injuries, if you want to prevent it make sure you warm up enough so after this dumbbell pressing went into standing barbell military press, I did five sets of these for uh, eight to 10 reps. So if I could get more than 10 reps, I would up the weight. If I got less than eight reps, I would uh, you know, drop the weight to make it lighter. So I did those five sets. After that, went into a superset here to more press movements. I know I did a lot of press movements uh, in this shoulder workout. Went with a Smith machine press. I did four sets of these for around 10 to 12 reps, super set with dumbbell side raises. So I would go straight from uh, doing the press movements here into uh, dumbbell side raises for uh, same uh, sets, those four sets. Uh, I did right at 12 to 15 reps with the side raise. And on the last set, the four set, I did a triple drop set on the Smith machine. And that's what you're about to watch here in a second here. Now, when I did the uh, triple drop set, what I did was just add a lot of tens so I could easily just take off a 10 pound uh, plate off of each side, so it was very quick. So I would uh, go here, press this out for around, I don't know, eight to 10 reps, uh, as many as I could do. So just go into failure completely. And then immediately when I hit failure, just go to each side, take off a 10 pound, jump back on it, go to failure, and then strip off other plates uh, and do that until I just had the 45 on each side. After doing that superset, went into more side raises, more dumbbell side raises, uh, just for one set, but it was a run the rack set. So I started off with the heaviest weight that I could do side raises for around 12 reps of, uh, went to failure and then dropped the weight by, I believe, I think the first drop was 10 pounds. So I went from the 40, 40 pound dumbbells down to the 30s and then 25s, 20s, and then 15. So after the first drop, initial drop, which was 10 pounds, um, then I would go down by five pounds on each dumbbell. The only reason why I went by 10 on the first one is because someone was using the dumbbells and the gym was pretty packed, so I wasn't able to uh, go down from the 40s to the 35s because if they had another, uh, if they had 35s up there, I would have grabbed the 35s, then went to 30s, 25s, uh, 20s, and then finished off with the 15. So the point of this was is just to go to failure on every single one. So just drop the weight by around five pounds and then go to failure. And for me, uh, the last set uh, was the 15 pound dumbbells. And when you see me do the 15s here in a second, what you see me do is try to keep my arms straight out uh, doing side raises. Because when I do uh, lateral raises or side raises, most of the time I have a slight bend in my elbows, which I do here. but when you use heavy weight with dumbbells, you're gonna have a slight bend in your elbows. So when I like to, so when I do lighter weight, I try to keep my arms straight out as possible. So after doing uh, that run the rack set, that was just one round of that, went into cables, I did uh, front raises 
here for four sets of cable front raises into a cable upright row. So I did uh, 10 to 12 reps with the front raise and then spun around, raised the weight just a tad and did right at like 10 to 12 uh, reps with the upright row. After that went into kettlebell side raises. So I'm doing all kinds of press movements and all kinds of uh, side raises. So I was only using 20 pound kettlebells and so I'm trying to keep my arms straight out like I was saying uh, the same way I would do, uh, use dumbbells. So if I'm using lighter weight try to keep my arms straight out so that's what I'm doing with the kettlebells. Uh, so I did those four sets for around uh, 12 reps. After that went into rear delts. I did cable reverse flies. So I just crossed up the cables uh, you know, flying straight back. Uh, the cable is at its highest point. Uh, a lot of people uh, lower that cable, which is totally fine, but for me, I feel a little bit more in my rear delts if I raise those cables up all the way up. So just stretching, pulling back, I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps with the reverse fly, and then this is the last superset. I went into dumbbell shrugs, for five sets of 10 reps with the shrug superset with dumbbell reverse flies on an incline bench. So here, just going up as heavy as I could, this is 150 pound dumbbells, just shrugging up for around 10 reps. So I go up, try to uh, pause and squeeze up at the top just for like a split second. Uh, and then this is the reverse uh, incline bench fly. So I stayed with the 20 pound dumbbells, nothing too heavy. Uh, for uh, 12 to 15 reps. But that's the end of the workout. And if you wanna give this workout a shot, just scroll down to the description box. It'll be all written out down there. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Just made it home from that workout. It was a long shoulder workout. I was there for about, I don't know, an hour 40 to two hours doing that uh, shoulder workout. It's uh, uh, 7.38 right now and I just walked in the door. Now I'm taking my Celtec Hyperbill. This is a creatine product by Muscle Tech. I like to take creatine right after my workout with like a protein shake and stuff. So that's what I'm sipping on right now. Uh, Celtec Hyperbill has like two different creatines in it. It has creatine monohydrate and then it has creatine HCL. Uh, it also has different ingredients to help build muscle like taurine, has uh, BCAs in it. So it's not just uh, a creatine product. That's why I like taking this over just like plain creatine monohydrate. So now I'm gonna find something to eat tonight and we also picked up a movie because it is Saturday night and we can't go out. I was gonna order pay-per-view tonight uh, but we didn't really want to spend $65 on a fight. Tonight is the Anderson Silva fight, and I really like watching him fight, but I just couldn't see spending $65. Most of the time when we watch uh, UFC fights, we go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get food for, you know, maybe 40 bucks or something, but I just couldn't see spending $65 on a fight that is just going to be me and Shelby sitting here watching. Two hours later. Done eating and took a shower and Shelby is putting uh, Mr. Brady down for the night and I thought I would answer a few uh, questions that I got on my most recent YouTube video. Uh, so the first one here is from Thunderlord. Uh, I have a huge question. What is the best workout routine to do if you are trying to build 20 pounds or more muscle in so many months? I am overall still a new lifter. I just got in my new home gym overall setup. Only thing I don't have is cables. Okay, so you're asking how to gain 20 pounds of muscle in months. Impossible. You can't gain that much muscle in months. It's gonna take you years and years and years. I have been working out for 13 plus years and probably in that amount of time, I'm guessing maybe 40 pounds of muscle. Now, of course, I'm talking about since I was a teenager because when I started working out, I think I was like 140 pounds and now I would say roughly about 180 pounds really leaned out and stuff. So that's 40 pounds in 13 years. And then you have to understand a lot of that weight is like my body maturing because of course, when you're a teenager, you don't have a lot of of just natural muscle but when you get older you start maturing a little bit and the muscle that you do have turns more dense so you know I don't know how much muscle I actually gained by working out and of course uh, being a natural athlete is taking me a whole lot longer than people that's been taking drugs and stuff So if you're asking what's the quickest way to gain muscle It's just working out super hard and then watching your nutrition and supplementation. That's the best way of gaining muscle all right, next question. This is from AVP7. Uh, how many days apart do you work each muscle group? I like to give each muscle group about three days rest. I literally never saw any of these cereals in California, LOL. 
Good video, Abel. What were your thoughts on the game, by the way? The game sucked. I thought that was the most boring Super Bowl I've ever watched, but at least the Patriots won. Last question, what do you eat pre-workout? Okay, so with this video, I showed you what I ate pre-workout, which is the protein bar. Most of the time, I eat just like chicken and broccoli and stuff. I'm not really a person that eats tons of carbs before a workout. If I'm gonna be working like back or legs, big muscle groups, I will eat a little bit of carbs beforehand, but most of the time, I go to the gym basically with no carbs, and then after the gym, I'll have like my bowl of cereal and stuff. But that's gonna be the last question here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace.